Okay, welcome to the uh, to Colorado. I'm here at the front ranges of the Rocky Mountains. Uh, over to my east, just on the other side, other side of this ridge over here, is uh, drops down into Denver, and past that are the plains of flat plains of Kansas. Uh, and up here, over to my left, are the Rocky Mountains that extend on for uh, quite a few miles. Ah. So. Uh, to kind of start off with, I want to tell you sort of what happened here with the Rocky Mountains and sort of what we're, why we're seeing these things that are around us, these kind of red uh, dipping rocks here that are behind me, and then the slightly yellow ones sitting on top of those. Uh, and then off that way, actually, these, these mountains are over there are granite, igneous rocks, and probably some metamorphic stuff mixed in. So what happened? Why are the Rocky Mountains here? Why are these things here? Well, back up about uh, 300 to 400 million years ago uh, during the uh, Pennsylvanian uh, period, yeah, uh, you had some mountain building going on in the eastern part of the U.S. Now, or sorry, the western part of the U.S. Now, most of the western part of the U.S. wasn't quite there yet. It, it was kind of building. Um, but you had subduction going on with an oceanic plate. So you had subduction going on with the uh, an oceanic plate going underneath kind of this the, the early part of the North American continent. And with that you got some mountain building going on and you had what was called the ancestral Rocky Mountains that were popping up about 300 million years ago. In fact there's about two large sort of mountainous islands popping out of the, uh, the uh, what was then I guess would be the Pacific Ocean. Uh, as these things popped up that that uh, mountain building event ended and erosion started happening because anytime you kind of bring up a continent as soon as you bring land out of the water erosion starts happening water starts doing its job and uh, starts breaking everything apart well with that erosion of those mountains which were granite mountains uh, you started getting tons and tons of sediment coming off of it and depositing just to the the sides of it especially just to the east of it and that deposition is what you're seeing here red sedimentary rocks and we'll get a closer uh, view of them here in a minute uh, when we walk up to them but uh, so this stuff was real close to the mountains so it should kind of make sense why these things are reddish and, and pinkish in color if you remember what granite is made out of the minerals that are made out of granite so anyway that was around 300 million years ago fast forward a little bit uh, to the modern Rocky Mountains that we see here uh, and what happened is that mount that first mountain building event sort of ended all this erosion was happening and then more mountain build, building happened with more subduction coming in off the west coast. And this subduction of this oceanic crust was a little bit odd. Like the, the Rocky Mountains are a little bit farther east than they should be. It's surprising how far east into the continent they are. With sort of normal, I guess what we can say normal subduction, we should see something like what's happening up uh, or what's happened up in uh, Washington or Oregon with the uh, volcanoes that are kind of popping up there that are pretty close to the coast or like California where you see mountains that are much closer to the coastline uh, but these things are way in and there's what happened with that is a, they, they think that subducting crust may have been kind of extra thick or had some kind of oceanic plateau on it or something and it kind of just it didn't quite subduct deep it sort of subducted shallow and by doing that it also pulled down the, uh, the central part of the US or the North America, and for the longest time, the central part of North America actually had an interior seaway. So there's this nice, beautiful, shallow sea between uh, me right here and Arkansas, in fact. The, uh, the deposition we saw here around 300 million years ago uh, is pretty much the same stuff we see in Northwest Arkansas. Uh, it's just that Northwest Arkansas, it's the eroding of the Ozark Plateau and kind of the, the granite mountains that were there. And over here, it's the erosion of this stuff or the ancestral Rockies. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you had this subducting kind of shallow crust and more mountain building happening. And when this happened, it kind of pushed up all this sediment. So we had this original sedimentation happening from the ancestral Rockies. Now we got new Rocky Mountains being pushed up again. And so it's tilting up, it's dipping all the, uh, the sediment that was lying flat there at first from those first mountains. So uh, yeah, that's kind of the the uh, Rocky Mountain Geology 101, and uh, we'll kind of go take a closer look at this stuff and uh, see what it looks like up close.